Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel The Coded Brain, and we are on our eighth video of Java programming tutorial series. And in this video, I will teach about if, else, if statements and its types. So let's get started. Uh, let's declare a the integer, integer and variable a, and let's give its value two, and then end with a semicolon. Now the main part is. Uh, it is just like if a is equal to 1 let's see one condition that is and start of all the bracket and here the double equal to means a is equal to 1 and single equal to means put the value of a in the 2 that means now the whenever we give a it means 2 yeah uh, if double equal to is means equal to and single equal to is putting the value of this side to uh, this side yeah so if a is equal to equal to 1 then what we want to do just give covers some dot out dot print line hello there yeah now another if this is a one condition if a is equal to equal to 1 this is one condition when a will be equal to 1 and if it's true then it will print hello there but what if a is not equal to 1 so uh, if the a is not equal then we must print something other so for that you can give else else whenever you use else you mustn't give any condition only whenever you use else else means if this condition doesn't work if a is not equal to 1 then it will not execute anything uh, between this block inside this and it will directly go to check another now here if a is equal to 1 print this but if a is not equal to 1, what should it print? That is, let's give another command. How dot print line. How are you doing? Yeah. Now what this means? If a is equal to 1, print hello there. Else, if a is not equal to 1, but equal to other, other value, then it will directly print how are you doing? Uh, let's build it. So you can see how are you doing? It means we have assigned the value a equal to and since a is not equal to 1, so it will not print this, but it will print how are you doing else. So this is uh, if else statement, it is called if else statement, and well, if this only giving for one condition. What if we can we must use some more condition like if you want to use there are more condition like 3, 4, yeah. So you can do also else if else if and call it record of one. Now sorry, whenever you use f else you can give another condition. We have a equal to let's give a is equal to equal to 2. Now this is our next new condition. So here you can give another command. Another in the line and when one come to for it brain yeah this means we have used here two conditions that is if a is equal to equal to one and if a is equal to two it means we have used here two conditions previously we could use only one condition but whenever you use lc you can use other condition too not only two condition but you can use three four five unlimited condition you can use uh, using else if now let's give a is equal to equal to three and you can give here other some out the print line and are you logging yeah. now here we get from three conditions like this you can use else if else if regularly and give more condition too so uh, let's run this now you can see since a is equal to so first is six a equal to equal to one this it is false so it doesn't print this again it will say else if a equal to equal to two and it gives it true so it will print welcome to the coded brain you can see and again it will check a equal to equal to 3 it is false and else already we have this so else will also be it is true so it will print this so this is all about if else if uh, 
conditions statement and it type it is used for giving more conditions showing it uh, producing different answer in different conditions so that's it for this video and what i'll give you short recap of this tutorial like first we declare a variable so let's give its value let's send value like 3 now and we give if a equal to equal to 1 mind is double equal to means if it is equal single equal to means comparing the value if a is equal to 1 print this and if a is equal to 2 print this we give format if a equal to 3 print this and if a is not 1 2 3 and other print this else means that so we have assigned the value a equal to 3 so we print it will print uh, a is equal to 3 so this will be false it will not print this this will also be false it will not print this but whenever it takes a is equal to 3 it is true so it prints are you learning let's run this yeah as expected are you learning so then hope you learned this if else statement it is pretty important now subscribe to our youtube channel to see more videos on java programming uh, comment down below if you have any problem uh, like this video share for other and thank you so much for watching this video